Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion for you guys. Another tip and trick video, guys. In today's video, we're going to be covering some solo tips. I get asked this a lot, not just in my live streams, but in my YouTube comments. People ask a lot of questions like, hey, can you give more solo tips? What happens if this happens in a solo match? And a lot of people really need help in solo game mode. So that's why I'm bringing you guys this video today. So if you please can, give this video a thumbs up. Let's try to break 350 likes. I know you guys can do it. You guys are awesome. You guys show a lot of love for these solo tips and tricks videos. So if you want them to keep coming, keep giving the video thumbs ups but guys besides that besides the likes and all that the solos i'm gonna be honest with you guys solo games are completely different than squads and duos uh honestly i don't like playing solos just because solos the gameplay is the game like the play style is completely different a lot of people camp a lot of people hide and that's exactly what you need to do to get wins that's that's the type of play style you need to do in a solo match i mean you can get aggressive but it is going to be a lot harder to win not just because it's just because there's going to be a lot of solo people just random people running around the Map. they're gonna be everywhere so once you get a kill if you are aggressive with that person and you kill them I guarantee you there's gonna be another person that's gonna run up on you guys and try and kill you so you're gonna be weak from that last fight so it's going to be a lot harder in a solo match in duos you can at least rely on your teammates to give cover fire to build for you to cover for you uh squads the same thing and then also if i am alone sometimes i like to play solo duos or solo squads alone just because again people camp in solos so if i'm literally running around the map someone could literally be hiding in a house a random house and kill me in a solo but if i'm doing squads a lot of the time those people like to be a little bit more aggressive they like to play a little bit more passive and they don't really care to hide or anything like that so they're out in the open a lot more so you can get a lot of kills so if you guys do want to get better at the game i'm gonna suggest this playing squads or duos is probably the best tip i can give you to get better at this game but if you guys do want some more solo victory royales keep watching this video i'm gonna give you guys the best tips to get more solo wins you guys i promise you these tips really work i already have over over 60 wins in the 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 season guys just season four alone and the season's only been out for not even a week it's been like five or six days or something like that so 60 wins that's averaging over 10 wins a day which is insane guys so with that being said let's get into the tips guys so basically starting off is where you want to land now a lot of people really like to go tilted towers and stuff like that don't go to any place like that my suggestion risky real the new place that's a definitely a good place to go sometimes there's going to be a few people there but they have really good loot there so if you go to risky real it's outside the map there's going to be probably one or two people over there which is it's fine because you do want to get in some gunfights you want to be able to kill people so that way you can get your warm-up shot and stuff like that you don't want to go throughout this whole game with zero kills um just because zero kills is a no-no as you guys can see in the background playing right now there's these two teams fighting I'm, I'm gonna push up on this person from behind let these two people fight and then once i get behind them i'm gonna kill them because that's what you want to do with solos if you see people fighting you want to do the best that you can to get behind them not be seen by them don't run up in there and start shooting at one from a distance you want to make sure that you're really close to one of them so that way you can actually get the kill and then focus on the other one you don't want to shoot them from a distance and then they both stop focusing each other and start focusing you it's just going to be a mayhem so another tip i want to give you guys is your inventory loadout as you guys can see i have an ar a shotgun another shotgun heals and a grenade launcher you guys now this this really matters a lot of people have questions about hey what do i what should i have in my slots because right now there's a lot of different opportunities like right now i see an rpg i see a med kit i see a, a light machine gun over here i think i'm going to see more baby pots and stuff like that so it's going to be very hard to understand what you want to keep in your inventory i see a sniper and snipers are really good in solos but honestly the grenade launcher, if you're not good at sniping, because I know a lot of people that watch these videos, you're not the best sniper in the world. If you are a good sniper, pick up the sniper. Snipers can help out a lot in solo games. But if you're not good, you got to keep an explosive. You got to keep a grenade launcher, an RPG, something like that, because that is going to help out a lot in the end game if you guys didn't see my last video make sure to check it out i talk about how the rpg or the the grenade launcher and i show you guys exactly why it can get you the win at the very end of the game so my suggestion is to definitely use that now this this loadout that i have right now this is very iffy the reason i'm holding six minis is because i love having minis on me at all times that way just in case if i ever get shot at or anything like that i have something to quickly heal myself up now i have two med kits those can be dropped the reason i'm carrying it is just because just in case purposes i, I trust myself with the pump but you don't want to rock just the pump just because it, it shoots it very slow so if someone has like a heavy shotgun they're gonna kill you if someone has a normal tactical shotgun they're gonna kill you as long as they have something and you miss your pump shot you're gonna end up dying that's why you want to have more shotguns besides the pump so that way if you miss your shot you can go ahead and easily just easily switch your weapon use another shotgun or anything like that maybe a submachine gun anything 
besides the shotgun to maybe try and tag him up a little bit because the pump it's just it's just extremely slow you guys it's, it shoots way too slow as you guys can see i dropped the all heals because i had this chug jug the chug jug will do exactly what i need i picked up the sniper because the sniper is very important in end game and i kept my grenade launcher so this loadout right here this is really good now i have to keep in mind that i do not have a second weapon so if i have the shotgun with the pump and it comes down to a sticky situation, what I'm gonna need to do is I'm going to need to switch from my pump to my AR and use my AR just to tag him up a little bit. Uh, but this next tip right here, this is going to be the hiding tip. As you guys can see, I found my base, I found the place that I wanna hide at in the game. It's the Loot Lake factories because uh, a lot of people really do go this way. But you can see I'm repairing things up. I'm making sure that things are repaired. And I'm setting up traps at the doorway. So that way if anyone comes from downstairs, I don't have to worry about where they are in my house. You know, this is basically my house. I'm trying to secure my house, fortify my house, make sure no one's around. You probably have traps. And this is why you need to get kills in the beginning stages of the game when it's going to be easy so that way you guys can pick up your traps you can have materials you can have heals all that stuff so at the beginning of the game the kills really matter towards the end of the game you want to really lay low key really hide out kind of don't really play the game that much just play the circle you know let the circle move find out where people are going and you guys are going to see in the background playing right now i'm going to pull off a few kills because of my traps but all I'm going to be doing is literally hiding in here until the last second. So you basically want to find your house, fortify your house, make sure everything is safe, traps, all that stuff. Make sure no one can get in there. Now, as you guys can see, I hear somebody running all around me. I'm prepared. I'm waiting for him to come in my house. And luckily, he goes downstairs and he runs into my trap. So that that's a free kill, free easy kill. It gets your KD up and everything like that. And you're safe in your house, you guys. So this is why you need to have like security in your home and stuff like that because it can protect you, you guys. I know it sounds weird. Another dude ended up pulling up on me, but he was going to the roof. He wasn't going to the bottom. He knew where I was. He knew I was in here, so I didn't mind shooting him down. I shot his little stairs so he can go down low. And now I have the high ground advantage on him. Wow.